What is going on everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that. But in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one and only Paid to Drive. And of course, Paid to Drive Logs, day number 1351 coming at you. Hope you're all having a great one out there. Uh, if you drive for any of the apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you're in the right place, everybody. Hit that free red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications to get started right now so you're always up to date and notified whenever something comes out in the gig economy. And of course, don't forget to hit that like button down below. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. Let's see if we can get 150 likes and let's jump on into this. So, okay, let me give a disclaimer here. There's something super, super sketchy, not on, not on the... Uh, driver's fault or the dashers, uh, you know, issue. Something doesn't seem right here on DoorDash's end, but should that be a surprise? So listen to this. The subject is DoorDash is up to a few new tricks. So when I saw this, I was like, well, what's going on now? So it comes from Paul and he says, uh, hello, Pete, my name is Paul, but I don't think you already knew that. Uh, I see what you did there. He goes, you can use my name in this video if you make one for this email. Well, you made the cut, Paul. This is a new one to me. I was sent an email from DoorDash saying that I requested for my account to be deactivated. What? I had not sent any email of any kind or even requested by any way at all. It did seem funny that two days ago I called DoorDash support asking about a payout for a trip. Hmm. I had taken a double, I, I had taken a double that was a good total for my area. And when I got the offer, the countdown was already at about 10 seconds by that time. The app was able to load the offer on screen. I didn't see the total of miles because it did not load yet and accepted it before the counter went to zero. The pickup was very close to each other, so I was happy about that. I took the deliveries and the first one was fairly far, but the second one was in a neighboring town that was not too far, but for the payout of $3 for about a 15 mile drive is just plain wrong. The total was $16 for the whole trip. After the trip, I called DoorDash to ask support if the payout that I got for the trip was the correct amount that I was supposed to receive for going that far of a distance. The person kept giving me the runaround and it didn't seem to have any knowledge and didn't seem to have any knowledge of it uh, was the right amount or not. I just accepted the fact that I got paid that much for the job and said, have a good day to the operator and went on with my day. I looked in my email account today and noticed the email from DoorDash that I requested my email to be deactivated. Well, I called DoorDash support and told them about the situation and was given the normal, I'm sorry for the inconvenience that has caused you, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I was on hold for quite a while and the woman that I talked to told me that I would have to appeal the deactivation. I did just that and when on the phone, the woman told me that it would take about seven days for them to process the request. I don't understand what is going on with DoorDash and hope they get their act together. Attached is a screenshot of the email sent to me. This is getting out of hand with DoorDash and the drivers don't deserve this treatment. Please do what you can to help spread the word about DoorDash's new scheme to deactivate drivers. My account is still active, but the process will take five days for my account to be deactivated. I hope they get this figured out soon, or I will have to get a new job due to DoorDash being a good portion of my trifecta of multi-apping with Uber Eats and Grubhub. By the way, I drive in Central Texas. Thanks, Pete, and have a great day. Wow, Paul, thank you so much for sending this because I have not heard of this. Why would you ask to be deactivated? So... Here's the sketchy email here, um, just so you can see. It's legit, it's real, okay? There you go. So it says, hi Paul, thank you for letting us know you'd like to deactivate your account. This email is to confirm that we are completing your request to deactivate your DoorDash Dasher account. Deactivation of your DoorDash Dasher account may take up to seven business days. And here's where it says, I'm sorry to see you go and hope that you change your mind in the future. It's weird that a company in a canned response would say, I'm sorry to see you go instead of we're as like a company, we're sorry to see you go. I don't know if that's a typo or if there's something sketchy going in here or if there's some sort of scam, I, I don't know. But it says, I'm sorry to see you go and hope that you change your mind in the future. If there's anything we can assist with in hopes of keeping you on board as a dasher with DoorDash, or if you have any feedback you'd like to share around why you made this request, please let us know. And obviously he did. 
If you'd ever like to dash with us again, please reach out to us to have your account reactivated by submitting a reactivation request here. Now, I don't know, Paul, if you actually filled out the reactivation request, so I would, if you haven't, definitely do it, because it says, you said in the email that you spoke to DoorDash. So with that being said, at least you got that part covered so they know, that I'm hoping they note, notated the account, but I don't understand why he received this, why? What's, what's the purpose of that? You know, obviously there's something not right here. I don't know if there was a glitch in the system or when you called the other day, the representative misunderstood something you said or clicked the wrong thing when you were calling about that order that you dropped off. But this is super, super sketchy and I just don't understand why it's happening this way. Um, but Dashers out there in the chat or the comments, have you ever seen anything like this? Please speak up, be very vocal. Uh, so Paul doesn't feel alone here. Um, he said he's in central Texas. I don't know if anything with where his market is has anything to do with this, but this doesn't really seem to make any sense at all. So let us know your thoughts down below. And Paul, please keep us updated with this. Uh, definitely respond in the comments or in the chat or in uh, an email and just let us know what's going on because we want to see you on the platform. We don't have to see, we don't want to see you have to go get another job, you know? So Send us, send me emails at paytodrivestories at gmail.com if you want something for a video or just have a question. But if you want a faster response, you could always message me on the Patreon app or through patreon.com slash pay to drive. Link is in the description or in the pinned top comment if you want to check it out. Um, I give everyone shout outs in all new videos. And when you hear your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. We've got Samantha Michaels, Brian Pomeroy, Heidi Barnes, Joe Valerio, Kurt Paul, Lee Peacock, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreaux, Laura Love, Agus, Alan G. Van Horn, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Haviland, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Joyce Hine, Brian Richardson, Ginny Thomas, John Bonacci, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacy Miller, Terrence Pacheco, and of course, B -B -B Valerie Brown. So yeah, guys, sign up on Patreon, links in the description or in the pin top comment. And of course, also download the Get Upside Gas app. It is a free app for your smartphone, iPhone, Galaxy, whatever you have, Droid. Links down below in the description. All you gotta do is download it for free today, okay? Uh, go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. It links in the description. Make sure to download it. And of course, everybody, uh, if you want to get one of these Live to Drive, Drive to Live t-shirts, you can get this and many more like it over at paytodrivestore.com. Everything is on sale. Lots of different t-shirt designs, hoodie designs, sizes, colors, all that good stuff at paytodrivestore.com. That's the place to go. Links down below. Get yourself something real nice. And of course, if you made it to the end of this video, simply leave a comment saying end 806, end 806. Just lets me know you made it to the end. Hit that free red subscribe button down below. If you haven't yet, tap that notification bell and set it to all so you're always notified when I post something new. And of course, please hit that like button down below. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. And let's get 150 likes. So until next time, get that money, get that honey. Keep hustling, keep bustling. And we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Vlogs. Be well, drive safe, and we'll see you on the next one.